हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉटन्स थियोरम दैट इज वन ऑफ द नेटवर्क थियोरम लेट्स एगेन स्टेटमेंट ऑफ नॉटन्स थियोरम इन एनी इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क विथ वोल्टेज सोर्स रेजिस्टेंस एंड ओपन आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स कैन बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय अ सिंगल करेंट सोर्स इन पैरेलल विथ दैट सिंगल रेजिस्टेंस एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट रेजिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू द रेजिस्टेंस सीन इनटू दैट ऑफ आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ करेंट सोर्स इज इक्वल टू द करेंट पासिंग थ्रू द शॉर्ट सर्किट आउटपुट टर्मिनल्स इन केस ऑफ थेवनिन्स थियोरम वी फाउंड आउट थेवनिन रेजिस्टेंस एंड थेवनिन वोल्टेज एंड ऑल द इक्वालेंट रेजिस्टेंसेस आर ट्रीट एज थेवनिन रेजिस्टेंस एंड द वोल्टेज सोर्स इज ट्रीट एज थेवनिन वोल्टेज एंड वोल्टेज विथ रेजिस्टेंस आर कनेक्टेड विथ सीरीज बट इन केस ऑफ नॉटन्स थ्योरम दैट इज जस्ट अपोजिट हियर वी कंसिडर द करेंट सोर्स एंड द रेजिस्टेंस इज पैरेलल विथ विथ दैट ऑफ करेंट सोर्स एंड वी कैलकुलेट द करेंट थ्रू द लोड ऑफ दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स टेक ए लुक टुवर्ड्स ए गिवेन नेटवर्क let that network be given as resistance r1 resistance r2 resistance r3 load resistance rl that are connected to the voltage source this dc voltage source constant ideal voltage source sorry that is the voltage source positive negative there will be not such sign v s voltage source we have to calculate current through the load it is il by using norton's theorem here there are linear combination of resistors if uh, there are uh, the electrical instruments like inductor capacitors then that can be solved by using norton's theorem and we have to calculate the effective impedance in that particular case various steps we have to follow to apply norton's theorem first if uh, there is any resistance across the two given terminals then remove it and insert a short circuit across it in that of terminal there will be the resistance load resistance now we replace and short circuit to that of terminal to that of given terminals so here that terminal short circuited like this R one, R two, R three, short circuited, short circuit. And determine the short circuit current I S C, I S C. Here R one, R two, R three, 
that will be the voltage source V s. So, we calculate short circuited current I s c. Now, the current I flowing through that of circuit there is the current I flow through that of circuit the current I flowing in the circuit is given by I is equal to V s voltage source divided by the effective resistances that is R 1 plus R 2 R 3 divided by R 2 plus R 3 that be the effective resistances according to the connection of the resistances in series and in parallel way. Next the current in the short circuit the current in the short circuit that is I S C is given by I S C current in the short circuit that equal to current I into R 3 divided by R 3 plus R 2 as far as the connection of these resistances. Now, step number 3 all the voltage sources are removed and allow their internal resistances to be retained. Similarly, remove all the current sources and replace them by the open circuit and that is by infinite resistance. So, that circuit can be modified as we take it load register is connected R L that is replaced by the constant current source constant ideal current source plus minus I S C and the register is connected that is R R NOR Norton's register. This portion is the equivalent source network equivalent source network equivalent source network Fi next step find the resistance of the network which is referred as Norton's resistance this resistance is the same like that of Thevin's resistance that is the Norton's resistance now we calculate the Norton's resistance now the short circuit is removed and as uh, was done in case of Thevin's uh, theorem we deactivate the independent sources therefore R Norton's Norton's resistance is given as R2 plus R1 R3 divided by R1 plus R3 ok next point 
the current ISC in parallel across the Norton's resistance between the two terminals gives the Norton's equivalent circuit and the equivalent source network this is the Norton's equivalent circuit therefore the equivalent source circuit contains a current source in parallel to the Norton's resistance and the current source has been short circuited across the shorted terminals of that load resistance thus we get IL load resistance IL the current through that of load resistance is given as by the dividing rule of current we say ISC into R Norton's Norton's resistance divided by these two are connected R Norton plus RL R Norton plus RL that be the load current is calculated by using Norton's theorem. So, with the help of this video lecture we understand Norton's theorem statement and uh, various types of steps to follow to apply Norton's theorem. These are the steps taking an example how these steps are followed and what are the mathematical way to calculate IL here. So, with this useful uninfluenced notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.